So I thought it would be helpful to show a little bit of shading that I do usually. Um, and on the other page of the closed toe shoes, like a more closed up shoes, the pump and the booty, um, those don't really need a lot of shading. But on sandals, especially strappy sandals, you're gonna need a little bit of shading. Okay, so as I said before, um, what I do is I take a little bit of my O2 pen and when two straps cross, um, I put just a little bit of extra ink right there where they cross on the bottom strap so um, it gives a little bit of dimension to it, like I was saying before. I'm going to do the two straps here as well, the cross straps. I'm going to do that as well. And I also do it at the buckle. Just a little bit on the strap before the buckle and after the buckle. And actually even a little bit here. And a little here where the straps overlap. You can already tell it's just kind of popping out a bit more. Um, I also like to, if I have time, um, where the straps meet the insole board, I put a little bit under each strap. So not on the strap but on the insole board. I put a little bit to show that these are two separate pieces, kind of overlapping. It's not necessary, but it's just something extra that'll make them pop out. So that's it for this one. Now I'm gonna... We already did this one. So we, again, we would do under the strap here, we would do all of these pieces that are on the inside of the shoe. And actually you would add a little bit more where the straps meet the insole again. Here and here. And I think that's it. Also, what I do just for a little bit of dimension is that when there's a heel and you're drawing it in 3D, the rest of them I didn't do in 3D, but this one I did. So the inside of the heel, which is here, I make the shading darker at the top where it meets the, um, the shoe and I gradually make it lighter as it goes down. I do the same thing where you're seeing first the outside of the strap and then the inside of the strap. I make this a bit darker right in this area and then lighten it as I get out. Okay, and I do the same thing here. It actually got erased, so it's a good place to show you. I just darken it up a little bit right in that corner and then just kind of fade it out. Okay, oh, I almost forgot this strap with the buckle. Needs a little bit of shading. All right, now next is the espadrille. Okay, I'm copywriting this because it's a pretty cool idea. As I was um, inking this in, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cool if this wasn't a um, complete wedge, if it was just a heel, and then the rope kind of just kind of went over the heel to give an idea of an espadrille, but it's really a heel shoe. Anyway, nobody copy that. It's my idea. Okay, so I'm not going to do any shading really on this braided part just because it's so intricate as it is that if you went in it would just be uh, way too time consuming. So I'm going to do here where the strap meets the insole again. Don't need to really do it here. Um, I'm going to do it right here where the strap goes into the hole of the eyelet. I'm going to do it here where the straps cross again. I'm going to do it right here straps cross. I'm going to do it in this knot. Just gives it a bit more dimension than it would have had before. Um, and then just a little bit around the knot. And here. Just a tiny bit. And then also here because they kind of cross over So 
so that's that. I hope this was helpful. You know, if you need any help um, sketching any other kinds of shoes, like if you need help with a tall boot, um, just let me know and I can try to um, arrange a tutorial for that. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks.